Welcome to ICB Biomechanical Protractor video. This is a new instrument designed for lower limb assessment. The main features that this new instrument has are an easy to read degree range, inches and centimeters measurement. The swing arm has the ability to range from 0 to 90 degrees and the instructions are on the back of the pack. Assess rear foot range of motion, pronation and supination factors, forefoot valgus, forefoot varus deformities, and it also can be used for structural leg length as the protractor has a measurement gauge. So when measuring structural leg length, medial malleolar asymmetry measurement technique, you can use the inches and centimetre gauge to assess the difference in leg length. Measuring rear foot position. You can use the protractor to measure range of motion, resting calcaneal stance position and neutral calcaneal stance position. Bisect the calcaneus and mark the tibial alignment. Align the calcaneus and the tibial angle in the closed chain position. Before using the protractor, observe the alignment and then use the protractor to confirm your observation by placing the swing arm at the base of the bisection of the calcaneus. Use the bevel edge for the alignment. The protractor should confirm the excessive range of motion in RCSP and NCSP, resting calcaneal stance position and neutral calcaneal stance position. Bring forefoot valgus deformity. Rest the protractor on the hallux in alignment with the first MTPJ. Line up the beveled edge with the plane of the heel and the plane that the first MTPJ sits in. Use the ICB ALM method to align the foot to neutral position. The foot should be in the lock position and it should be maintaining approximately a 10 degrees of plantar flexion. Rest the straight edge of the protractor on the hallux and move the swing arm to follow the frontal pane. The straight edge is aligned with the first metatarsal joint and parallel to the ICB ALM line. Recap the sequence. Use the ICB ALM line to find the ideal or neutral position. Plantar flex the foot to resistance but not more than 10 degrees of plantar flexion. Check the rear foot to the forefoot. Identify if there is a forefoot valgus. Use the protractor to measure the gap that will need to be filled on the orthotic with an ICB addition. Use the bevel edge to find the rear foot position and then move that swing arm to follow the forefoot position. Measuring forefoot varus deformity. Turn the protractor around and place the straight edge on the fifth digit and in alignment with the fifth metatarsal phalangeal joint. Line up the beveled edge with the plane of the heel and the plane of the fifth MTPJ. Use the thumb to move the swing arm to match the plane of the forefoot. Look at the plane of the heel. Compare it to the forefoot plane. Look at the difference. Use the protractor arm to follow the alignment and measure the gap. However, make sure that this is a true forefoot varus deformity, not a forefoot supernatus. ICB forefoot addition can fill the gap and enable the foot to be locked for toe off. The addition can be affixed to an ICB orthotic. 
ACB provides a large range of additions to modify your orthotics. Forefoot additions, rear foot additions, medial longitudinal arch support, medial flanges to support the foot and to give more comfort to the patient, heel lifts in a range of, uh, of sizes and also extended 10 and 15 mil heel lifts. We also have inversion and eversion ramps, especially children orthotics, sports orthotics, a large range of densities for all different conditions, and slim products which are slim enough to fit every shoe type. For more information, visit icbmedical.com.